There you go. My name is Hannah Bailey and I'm the curator of birds at the Houston Zoo. And I've worked at the zoo since 1997. And during that time, I've helped do things like raise white belly go away birds, like this bird right here, Mr. McBouncy Pants. Mr. McBouncy Pants, and he is a white belly go away bird. He actually was hatched at the Houston Zoo December 29th, 1998. So he's about to celebrate his 10th hatch day. Um, he is a member of a group of birds called Turicos. And Turicos actually are a family of birds that are native to sub-Saharan Africa. And they all like to eat a lot of fruit and leaves and greens and stuff like that. He actually was hand raised at the zoo because go away birds are very difficult to raise in captivity. So we had to pull him from his parents when he was a couple days old so that we could hand raise him. The reason why he's named Mr. McBouncy Pants is because school children would come by his exhibit at the Tropical Birdhouse at the Houston Zoo and watch him and he would fly down to the glass to greet them and run back and forth along the, gla the glass with the school children watching, bouncing back and forth, trying to get their attention. He actually, he eats a lot of fruits. He eats a lot of greens as well. His favorite food item is grapes and he also really, really likes lettuce. Um, just about any kind of lettuce, but romaine is his favorite. Um, one of the interesting things about go-away birds is they're called go-away birds because the, the call that they make when they're threatened sounds like a really nasally go-away, like they're trying to tell somebody to leave them alone. Mr. McBouncy Pants has just recently started showing interest in eggs, which is unusual for an, an imprinted hand-raised bird. He was living with a Cape Thickney, which is a type of ground bird, and the, it was a female and it laid an egg. And the keepers came in about a day or so after the egg was laid and found, didn't see Mr. McBouncy Pants up in the um, perches in his exhibit and looked in the back and saw him actually incubating the egg. So we've actually given him a few dummy eggs, like the one that he has right now, which is a fake egg, and he will actually sit on them and incubate them.